Extend hand of fellowship to those who contested against you. Tinubu tells Akire Dolu. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel. God bless you, my people. Yes, guys, and the one we've got is coming from the um, national leader of the All Progressive Congress, the person of Asewaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, um, regarding the just concluded Ondo state governorship election that saw APC um, winning the states. The incumbent governor, Akere Dolo Rotimi, um, won his second term bid, so he got re-elected. And on that note, uh, Tinubu is sending out a message to Akere Dolo that he should extend the hand of fellowship to all of those that contested against him. We'll find out more details and uh, all that Mbola Tinubu said to Akere Dolo uh, in a moment. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again and God bless you. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details. Asawaju Bola Tinobu, national leader of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, has congratulated Ondo State Governor on his re-election bid in the last Saturday's governorship election and also for him to repay the people's faith by building on the achievements of his first term. Tinubu, in a statement by his media office, also urged Akere Dolo to extend hands to those who contested against him, especially Eita Yojegede of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Agbola Ajayi, the deputy governor of the state, who ran on the platform of the Zenith Labour Party, ZLP. He said, I congratulate Governor Oluwa Rotimi Akere Dolo for his well-deserved re-election as governor of Ondo State. This victory is a peaceful, free, and fair process. It is a testament to Governor Akere Dolo's sterling first-term performance and an affirmation of the confidence reposed in him by the people of Ondo. In his first term, Governor Akere Dolo erected important structures embanked upon road infrastructure and focused on projects like the Ore Industrial Hub in a bid to create empowerment and employment for the people. It is now time for him to repay the people's faith by building on the achievement of his first term and bringing further tangible improvement to the lives of the people in his state. I also congratulate President Mohamed Buhari, our parties, governors, and all the members of the All Progressive Congress in all those states and beyond. I wish also to congratulate Governor Babajide Sanwonlu, the chairman of our party's National Campaign Council for the Ondo election, for his excellent work in support of his brother governor's campaign. Governor Akere Dolo's re-election has demonstrated what a united and cooperative APC can do when working together to advance our party's progressive agenda. The reconciliation we spearheaded ensured we had a united APC which worked towards achieving victory in the election. I would be remiss if I failed to thank Baba Ali Olan Nusi and other members of the now defunct Unity Forum for their commitment to the party and for so firmly believing in what we stand for. I also commend all the governorship aspirants who came to endorse Governor Akere Dolo for a second term including Chief Olushola Oke, Mr. Isaac Kekemeke, Dr. Shegun Abraham, Chief Ife Oluwa Oyedele, Chief Olubukola Adetola, Jimmy Odimayo, Abasedo Olushola Iji, and Mr. Olaide Awolabi Adelami. I decided to mention them by name for they deserve our accolades and even more. Same with former Secretary to the State Government, Honorable Ifidayo Sunday Agbe Gunde, a.k.a. Abna, who came back to us and worked assiduously for Governor Akere Dolo's re-election. We cannot thank them enough. The battle is not over with the re-election of Governor Akere Dolo. We must strive to establish a progressive government where we are capable of doing so. I urge Governor Akere Dolo to be magnanimous in victory and extend his hand of fellowship to those who contested against him. I commend all the parties and candidates that took part in the election, particularly the PDP and ZLP candidates, for putting up 
a spirited fight in the spirit of democracy. With the election over, it is now time to rally round the governor to move the state forward towards its full potential. Wow. So um, this is coming, guys. It's coming from um, the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Asewaju Tinobu. We know ahead of the governorship election, there was crisis amongst the APC um, governorship uh, aspirant before they had the primaries. Uh, Bola Tinobu had to step in because when he stepped in, he, he told them that the way they are going, if they don't work together, they will end up losing the election to the opposition party. So he stepped in when the other uh, aspirants were not uh, okay with the mode of primary. Only Akere Dolo was on one part. Only Akere Dolo stood on one part and the other 11 aspirants were on the other side. Bola Tinobu had to move all the way from Lagos because he knew how key uh, this election is. That um, if they are not united, they don't stand a chance of winning. And right now, um, he's um, recalling those moments where they had to come together to work for the same purpose, to put down all of their um, grievances and all of that, and they supported the governor. But um, the shocking part right now, Bola Tinubu is stating that uh, um, Akere Dolo should extend a hand of fellowship to all those who contested against him. We don't know what that really means, uh, all those who contested against him. We know election is a time for people to choose their governor, choose their leader. And with um, everything um, stated so far, PDP have not uh, accepted yet because they've stated, they gave their statement that they are studying the results and the outcome of the results. And um, in due time, they will make known their, their, their next line of action. So we don't know if anyone is going to be dragging anyone to court. Same thing with um, ZLP. That's the Zenith Labour Party. They also stated that they were studying the results. So far, so good. We cannot really conclude, guys. I don't know if this one was a credible election because we had um, so many cases of uh, uh, vote buying here and there, different words, even gunshots and all of that. So we cannot conclude if it was a uh, uh, free and fair one, just like Edo State Governorship Election. But Obola Tinubu, he feels that it was a credible election. Guys, let us know if you believe that um, the election on those state election, Akere Delo being re-elected for a second term, if it was actually a free, fair and um, credible one. Anyways, the message is passing out to Akere Delo, yes, to extend the hand of fellowship that the election is being done and it's how to move the state forward. Thank you once again, guys. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Till I come your way again. Bye for now and God bless.